Welcome back to Celebrity Catwalk. I'm Stephanie Matera, and you're probably wondering why I'm wearing this fabulous faux fur hat that is just over the top gorgeous. It's because I have the founder and CEO of Imposter here with me today. She is a game changer in the faux fur industry, according to Wayne Paselli of the Humane Society of the United States, and I couldn't say <laughs> I agree more. Welcome to the show, Jacqueline. Thank you. How it's are so you? It's so nice to be here. I really, really appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you so you know, much. Especially as we share so much in common as far as saving these guys. I know, and it's great that we can show that the fur looks so real. So we don't have to, as you say, take a life, right. but rather be inspired by exactly. the beauty of animals. So Absolutely. tell me what made you want to create this line. Well, it was just, it was actually really this moment in yeah. life where, you know, just an idea hits you. And, um, you know, it just it really all comes together. It was, start kind of from the beginning. So yes. I was out shopping, and I was trying on a coat that had a big fake fur collar, at least yeah. what I thought was fake fur. But oh. I wasn't sure. So I was looking for the label on the inside to know. Yeah. And um, it really hit me. I'm like, if I'm this close, mm -hmm. and I can't tell the difference, then that's mm -hmm. just great if, uh, if this ends up being animal friendly. But the minute I walk down the street, yes. I'm a walking advertisement for the fur industry. Yes. So I was like, gosh, I wish I could wear a, a sign or something mm -hmm. that communicates from the outside right. that what I'm wearing is animal friendly. Love you know, that. or some, and it's something at the like point of purchase. So, yeah. so it's very clear, you know, when you're yes. looking at products, you know, yes. as to whether or not something is animal friendly. So um, having a background in advertising marketing yeah. kind of hit me. I'm like, well, if you could introduce a new symbol mm -hmm. and create enough awareness on the street for what the symbol means, yes. you could potentially turn the industry upside down. Incredible. You could give the, the customer everything she's wanted, right. you know, or he's wanted about the look and feel of fur and an option that actually saves animals. That's so that's how it kind of all came about. So I was like, well, you know, we could introduce <laughs> this new symbol. Yes. And I thought of, um, you know, I wanted a word that was very clear in terms of the meaning and, and mm. what the brand represented. Mm -hmm. So I came up with the word impossible. Imposter. The full oh, full name is Imposter, the number four animals, yes. and uh, the the logo is a very geometric I am for Imposter. It's beautiful. You see on, You're on wearing it on your dress. You know, and I have it all over my you know the hats and everything yes. that I wear. But really, the the important thing, at least the way I look at it, is. You know, that we can now, all of a sudden, we have a symbol mm -hmm. that can give back to animals, you know, that is right. essentially a trademark on behalf of animals yeah. in nature, the way a celebrity would use their, their name or likeness to, to, sell, help, to help sell a product. You're speaking and for the animals. Exactly. Yeah. You know, animals can't hold the trademark on, uh, no. you know, for, for these types of things, but we certainly can on their behalf. Mm -hmm. So it occurred to me that we could use this new symbol yes. and give animals a share of every dollar the fur industry loses. And Incredible. the idea would be, hopefully, to completely replace the fur industry, to take down the fur industry, yeah. um, and replace it. And then mm -hmm. animals will stand to, to gain from every product that is sold. I so that's kind that. of how it all came about. I know you're pretty heavily connected to the HSUS, and yes. so you're also a, almost a spokeswoman for them in the sense that you do social media and also tell us about what else you do. Well, honestly, I, I just, you know, I, um, when I when I started doing this, I mean, I knew quite a lot about them yes. to begin with, but I started researching all the different mm -hmm. uh, charities because we work with a lot. You know, we work with, uh, you know, 15 different animal protection charities. Love that. But the HSUS is the Humane Society of the United yes. States is um, th the work they're doing is just incredible. Mm -hmm. And of course they have an anti-fur team, mm -hmm. you know, and they're just, they're involved in, you know, they're involved in solving problems, like, you know, the root, yeah. root causes of these problems. So, you know, as I got to, to know them more and more, I, I kind of, just because I love what they do, you yeah. know, I kind of, you know, when I talk about them, I just, you know, I try to share with people, mm -hmm. you know, what, um, you know, what their campaigns are about. Mm -hmm. And then I ended up, you know, of course, my, my company is working very closely. <laughs> Imposter is very close with, with them and working yeah. closely with the, you know, with the campaign. But I'm also personally a social media ambassador for the HSUS. Great. And I'm on the Connecticut State Council for the Humane That's Society wonderful. of the United States. That is incredible. And I remember <clears throat> meeting you a few years back at the Take Action for Animals conference. Yes. And you were showcasing <laughs> your line. And yep. it was incredible. It was my first introduction to Thank Imposter. You. And I was... Breath, it's just breathtaking. It took my breath away that you can do something so good and yet really give people this socially conscious option. Yeah. So why don't we talk mm. a little bit about some of the products sure, we have absolutely. here. I'll start with what we're wearing. <laughs> so <laughs> the, the like, very awesome, fun, soft, yeah. 
fluffy yeah, hat you're wearing is called our Mongolian hat. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Um, and the color that you're wearing is Summer Fox. The one that I'm wearing is our trapper hat. Yeah. It's, um, it's a style we've been doing for a long time, but this mm -hmm. is actually the first year that we have either the Summer Fox or this is Silver Fox. Yes. And this was actually a style that Barney's had requested. Yes. And I was like, oh, this is going to be way too big, <laughs> Silver <laughs> Fox, because it's, you know, so long. Mm -hmm. But it, it ended up coming out, you know, and of course, Barney's, you know, their buyer was right. It was so cute. So, so visionary. And it reminds me you. of going on a European vacation or, you know, going to Russia Aspen or, or Aspen, <laughs> Colorado. <laughs> you know. I feel like you could just really glam yeah. it up. These are both really <laughs> statement <laughs> items. So we have, we have a bunch of other statement items. So we have, um, this is a, as you can imagine from the shape, this yes. is our Russian hat. You know, Love it's just, that. You know, again, because it's something that's very traditional as mm -hmm. far as fur. So we really yeah. wanted to do an animal-friendly imposter fur version yes. you know, of a Russian hat. So we do it in the summer fox, which is mm. the same color as you have on. And we also do it in the silver fox, which is similar to what I'm wearing, but it's yes. just maybe not quite as crazy a style. So, yes, yeah, so silver fox and the Russian hat. What I really like about those is uh -huh. when you move them, the fluidity of the fabric, Absolutely. it replicates the movement of real fur. Absolutely. It's so light. You know, to be honest, these are this is the first year yeah. where faux fur and posture fur of this length was even possible. The technology really, really hadn't been there yet. Oh, wow. So it was the one weakness that faux fur had up to now. Really? We just couldn't replicate, you know, it was... Just, you know, it's very complicated, yes. the process of, you know, how long the, you know, the fibers oh. need to be. So this is the first year we're introducing anything like this. So I'm thrilled. I've been waiting years and years and years to introduce something like this. So this is the Mongolian hat in the Silver Fox. Beautiful. Same style as the one you're wearing. It's <laughs> the ring color, obviously. Um, and then this is, we have a, a bunch of different scarves that we Beautiful. do. Beautiful. This is the, um, you know, our long straight scarf. And then yeah. actually, you know, you basically can flip it through. I'll just throw it up. Sure. So you can flip it through, so it ends up being like this. And this one is really light. This again is the summer wow. fox, like the one that you're wearing. And the movement, yes. again, like this is the first time anything yes. like this has been possible in an animal-friendly, you know, imposter fur version. You're going to see the <laughs> implications of that because the more it replicates real fur, the more Absolutely. you'll be able to steer the consumers away from the real thing and have them go for imposter. Absolutely. I mean, I'm absolutely thrilled because I yes. knew this was a weakness, you know, yes. so we focused on the the shorter, like very soft qualities, mm -hmm. but I wanted something that, you know, that had this longer, like, you know, very lush, because it's right. something that is so popular with real fur. Yes. So, of course, we want to try to do something that, you know, yeah. that can replace it, you know, in an animal-friendly version. Well, we have chinchilla <clears throat> here, too, and it makes me think of celebrities. I won't name the ones that wear real fur, because yes. we're going to give plugs for the ones that wear faux fur, right. but I know that you have a lot of celebrities that love imposter, and they're wearing it. Yeah, it's it's been incredible. I mean, to have an idea and then have you know have all this celebrity support yes. you know, so quickly and the support of these amazing stores. So yeah, our, the celebrities that um, we have quite a list. <laughs> we go into there's it. a like, long list. <laughs> it's just it's incredible. But yes. um, so Sarah Jessica Parker, she yes. has you know she has a lot of our stuff. She has vests in like pretty much wow. every color and hats and scarves. Um, you know, and uh, Carrie Underwood, who obviously wow. is a huge, huge animal person. Yes. Sandra Bullock, you know, is, yeah. is a you know is a supporter. She has our stuff too. A whole bunch of different things. Um, Jessica Chastain, who is wow. a vegan, and she's just a you know, huge Amazing. animal person as well. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, we have we have quite a list. <laughs> I think it's great because people <clears throat> really pay attention to what celebrities do, and yes. with all the social media channels mm -hmm. they're on, and posting photos of their outfits, it's great yeah. to really say, wow, Sarah Jessica Parker, who's a fashion icon, is wearing faux fur. Absolutely. And it just gives it that <clears throat> much more um, panache and people yeah. want to wear it. Yeah, well, it gives it a lot of credibility, especially yes. for these you know, fashionistas that never mm -hmm. just didn't realize that faux fur of this quality even yeah. existed. You exactly. know, so imposter fur has come you know, very new to them. It's great. But you know, the fact that these major celebrities, and especially celebrities yeah. that have worn a lot of fur, you know, mm -hmm. some of them have worn a lot of fur in the past. Right. And this really helps, you know, it, it, yeah. it, it shows the, you know, that there is a quality now, that you can yes. do something that is everything that you've wanted mm -hmm. about the look and feel of fur an option that actually saves animals. So it's the incredible. celebrities are helping so much with the credibility. I'm really glad that. to hear that. 
I wanted to tell our viewers that if they want to find one of these stunningly beautiful pieces, that they can visit a Barney's location. Yeah, absolutely. Around Barney's the United is, States. Yeah, Barney's throughout. is, you know, we've been with Barney's for a while, yes. and you know, the, the orders have gotten bigger and bigger, and Good. it's just wonderful. I mean, we're, we sell in the same, you know, department as Real yeah. Fur, so it shows, wow. you know, black and white. You know, yeah. it, it shows what's happening. I mean, the trend is really yeah. going our direction and mm -hmm. in the direction of saving animals. How much would a hat like this retail for? It's, this is the that's the Mongolian hat. The Mongolian hat. hat. So most of our hats, so like the, the, just the simple Russian hat. So this hat retails um, about 150. Okay, great. And the one that you're wearing yeah. is, again, depends a little bit on the, you know, on the color. Yes. But um, you know, most of the, the the bigger hats that use more mm -hmm. of the faux fur, anywhere from about 198 to mm -hmm. 225. That's incredible. So it's an attainable price point for Absolutely. the socially conscious. Fashionista, right. <clears throat> and then if they right. want to visit your website online, it's sure. imposter.nyc, yes. which is great because you mentioned you partner with HSUS, but there's several other organizations you work with. Yeah, so we, you know, I think it's important. I mean, as much as I love the HSUS and yes. you know, some of the charities we work with, I think it's important, you know, for the the customer to mm -hmm. be able to have, the, you know, the the options. So say they right. love elephants or they love horses or I love that. you know, or a certain charity. So we have, you know, at the point of purchase, you know, yes. when when people choose, you know, at the very end, there's a drop down list of 15 animal protection charities. Incredible. So they can choose the one that they they want yeah. their um, you know their percent to go to. That's great. And it's you know it's it's something that I've you know I've wanted to do for a long time, and hopefully if we open freestanding retail stores. Yeah. Will have the same, you know, the same options, so people can really, you know, they can yeah. they can choose where they want the money to go. Well, you mentioned other animals such as mm -hmm. elephants and <clears throat> horses, and before right. we close out, I just wanted to give Draco the attention that he deserves. Yes. So tell us about <clears throat> your beloved horse. So it really, for me, I mean, I you know I've been working with animals for you know forever, mostly yeah. horses. You know, I've been rescuing and retraining horses, awesome. and it was a horse that changed my life, completely changed my life, and put you know put me on a totally different path. Yeah. And um, he's the inspiration for everything that I'm doing. He's the inspiration oh, for all that. of this. And the symbol, <clears throat> that um, very geometric, you know, yes. I am symbol, there's a diamond at the center of it. Oh, wow. And Draco is dark beige, nearly black, oh. and he has this perfect white diamond on his forehead. So the star at the oh. center of the imposter symbol yeah. is in his honor. And, you know, most of, a lot of the graphics, like, you know, our hang tags have yes. a picture of Draco. It's actually three stills, three still pictures oh, wow. from a video of him rearing actually him you know and I, he's still I ride him you know like four times a week if I can. <laughs> he's just you know he's the most incredible horse and you know they so are. we try to use a lot of horse visuals and especially yes. him yeah you know even the label on the inside is you know is Draco rearing that I brought you know I brought that into Illustrator to Aww. create a vector you know vector graphic of it but yeah it all Love comes it. full circle because it really you know mm -hmm. it was a you know, it was a real horse that was a rescue 400 pounds underweight when I found him wow and um you know, so it was, it was, this was all based and inspired, you know, by yes. a real animal. You know, our ambassador is the most breathtaking, beautiful I couldn't agree horse more. that, you know, that I've ever, that I've ever, I've been so lucky, you know, and to, you to have him. And you him to his former glory before yeah. he was underweight and, and he was, mistreated. you know, so the, the, yeah, I mean, I've worked with a lot of different breeds, yes. but the horses, the rescues that I have mm -hmm. are all thoroughbreds. Nice. And Draco, um, his great-grandfather's name is Bold Ruler. Okay. He was Secretariat's father, Secretariat's oh, wow. sire. So he, and he was a very, very talented racehorse. Wow. He won a lot. And, yeah. You know, I, it's, it, it really, like, he's an incredible athlete, and I'm just yeah. so happy to have been the one to find him. And yes. it's, you know, out of all animals, you know, I mean, he just, he really is the perfect ambassador for something like this. He's yeah. so magnificent. So it really, he really, you know, he deserves to, to be, you know, to be the one, like the legend for this. Well, you are a beautiful soul. It meant so <laughs> much you. to me to have you Thank on you our much. show today. <laughs> I wish you continued success, you. that you can help as many animals as possible. And Thank so you. if you want to learn more about Jacqueline Sharp and Imposter, <laughs> you can visit mm -hmm. imposter.nyc. <clears throat> Thank you so much for watching Celebrity Catwalk. I hope we inspired you to get <laughs> super glamorous with your faux fur this season. And we'll catch you next time. <laughs>